Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We are about to start round number five. I'm back Mike from our cruise. Yeah, our cruise. I would say our belly's full of fish. <laughs> but it feels feels good. Um, we're at the Midwest Pre Modern Championship. I'm Michael Hoype. I'm joined by BK Brian Kowal, and we have we have an exciting match. <laughs> I was saying we're gonna go a little rogue this round. Yes. Uh, so we have Blake Nimi on Greater Good, so a combo deck. Up against Patrick Hathaway, also on a combo deck, Dream Halls. So taking advantage of the unbanned show and tell is going to look for some spectacular magic. Yeah. Is this? Is it's this... like w one of these guys is going to do something totally degenerate. And maybe both, you know? We'll see what happens. I don't like it, Both these decks can just go crazy out of nowhere. So if, if one of us had picked Dreadnought decks, it just... Greater good fall under a, dr a dreadnought deck because it does use Phyrexian dreadnought. I would say no. I would say siphle dot applications only. Okay, this is not a carplusion forest forest walking situation. Oh. oh. And both these players, I think, are three and one, right? Yeah, they're both they're, three and one. They're both in contention, so. I think. Patrick might have got aired down against Caleb last round at lost. I'm not okay. sure. I know Caleb was saying that he played against Dream Halls last round. And I, I don't think there's more than one in the room, but maybe there is. I don't know. Alright, we got a Hickory Woodlot. So the Mercadian uh, Depletion Lands. So they come into play tapped. They tap for two mana. You get to use it twice. Uh, really good when you're trying to cast a card like Greater Good real mm. quick and blake has led with a turn two lander waste and then two lotus petals yep, so he's already a... got, he's got access to five mana so this four yeah. mana is used for greater good greater good is here regards to is 50 dollars <laughs> gonna be at risk very early here <laughs> all right so what's happening now is greater good than play let me bring this one up uh so it allows you to Sacrifice a creature to draw cards equal to the power, and then you have to discard three cards. That's not a very big problem when you're drawing 12 cards and then discarding three. Uh, because Phyrexian Dreadnought, while you would have to sacrifice it to itself, if you don't, you can still respond to that trigger and sacrifice it to greater good. So, we're drawing 12 cards, we're going to discard three. Yeah, In those 12, 12 cards, we're hoping to draw a card like Elvish Spirit Guide or Lotus Petal, and that would hopefully get us to, into another Dreadnought. It might get us in a Reanimate to bring back a Dreadnought that had died. And the goal that Blake's going to try and do is draw his entire deck. Yeah. Or or effectively it. And then he's going to... Uh, the win condition's a little different. Like I mean, It's usually like Replenish. And then you bring back... Yeah. Um, uh, it's Pandemonium. Bring back Pandemonium and Sapling Burst. Yep. Kill them. yep. This is like quietly one of the best... Turn two decks in the format. Well, I mean, like if, <laughs> if you talk about like it being uninterrupted, then yes, yeah. it's it's its super speed, powerful. Its speed is unreal if like you don't mess with it. But. Yeah, it, but like yes, but the problem is is when when your opponent is interacting, then things get more difficult. So, like, some playing this deck for a while. Uh, yeah, very, very solid pilot of it. Yeah, he's he's been at the other, I think the master. So he he did not. I think he, he passed the turn, and then Patrick threw and just passed. Mm -hmm. I think okay. Patrick may have done all in this game. Okay, I was well. I was gonna say with with Patrick leading with a flooded strand. I don't know if, if Blake knows what Patrick's playing, but like if you see flooded strand, the, your first thought is not Dream Pulse. You're thinking like Standstill or something with Counter Magic, which I think would make sense of why he was going for such a quick Greater Good, and. But given that Patrick doesn't have a second land, it's probably a little more likely that you don't think he's on a land still archetype. Yeah. And I'm thinking more of this for high bordered games. Right. Because uh, yeah. I it look Blake's in very good shape to to win this. So he probably could uh fit in a a cabal therapy to maybe see his opponent's hand, which would be I think a, a good thing for for Blake to do to try and get a little bit more information. Yeah, it's probably a good idea for Patrick just to concede if he okay. actually casts Cabal Therapy. That's right. Well, I mean it, it's not unquestionable that like Patrick doesn't know exactly what what Blake is doing. Like I wouldn't expect everyone to, who's playing pre modern to know exactly the, what the greater deck 
Greater Good Deck is trying to do. So yeah. he might be interested in just learning on how like actually wins the game. Yeah, he can get his info. Yeah. So that was a dark ritual. Could be three or this could cast three reanimates. This, yeah. this dark ritual will be draw thirty six cards. Yes. But it won't. <laughs> Yeah, like un Blake untapping probably just yeah is has to be over, right? Like, I'll, it's I'll, like you can't really miss. A lot of the times that's kind of what the decision point is is do I go for it here or do I like pass a turn and expose myself to losing my greater good or something? Yeah. But yeah. there's been a lot of games when I've played against Blake with this deck though, and he's like I didn't find the <laughs> the pandemonium where it's at the bottom like six cards. Those are really yeah. hard to draw, you know. Then you um, start doing weird things of like putting Elvish Spirit Guide into play and drawing yeah. two cards and discarding he, three. He still usually beats me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're continuing drawing cards. Still twelve right now. Two cards left in the deck. Yeah, so... It's funny, one of the other ways that I've like won with this deck is sometimes you just have Pandemonium, and then you just cast two more Dreadnoughts. Yeah, and so like, that's certainly a, a, a path. Yeah. yeah, this deck is so goofy. It's it, really fun. It's a beautiful combo deck, yeah. like just how the things come together. Yeah, even to like discarding the uh, enchantments into your yard with greater good for the replenish. It's pretty cool. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of great. Yeah, yeah and the, the the biggest draw to greater good, other than like it's really fun to draw a million cards, is. Mm -hmm. It's really good against any deck that's like trying to race you. You, if if they're not if they're not trying to interact with you, you are might be the fastest deck in the format. Um, probably in a combo versus combo matchup, and Gerard brings up a good point. That's that's like your gold, right? Like against other combo decks, it seems like yeah. You just, uh, I guess it depends on their interaction, but yeah, because because some combo decks do have. Either counter magic or um, discard, but yeah, here we're seeing the pandemonium combined with sapling burst. So if you're not familiar, sapling burst will put creatures into play, um, and he'll be able to deal 21 damage. That's game. All right, so that was. Blake always turn two is me too. What, was that a turn two or that was turn three? Turn three. Okay, so that was really quite slow for Blake. Yeah, he whiffed on the well. He, it was a double lotus petal, so I think there's a little higher chance of him whiffing That's there. True. And he, um, yeah, you probably need like black mana or green mana plus dreadnought, which is a little bit more of an ask. Yeah, not definitely not out there for um, drawing twelve cards for sure, but like I don't. I'm not an odds maker, but <laughs> yeah. well, let's let's talk a little bit about what Patrick's trying to do. I mean, we didn't see anything. We saw a flooded strand, yeah. and so uh, we talked about him playing the Dream Halls deck. And so, what is Dream Halls? Step one is get Dream Halls into play. Yes, and you can do that step two. Step three, prop. Okay, uh, so <laughs> you can do that by accelerating it out with like cards like Ancient Tomb or Surprise and Scary, which is the blue version of the Hickory Woodlot. And uh, our players, oh, the players are already starting, so. But oh, they with it, boarded real fast. Yeah. Blake has, says, like, a whole bunch of duresses and Cabal Therapies after board, though, I imagine, right? They're they're usually in the main. The, the Cabal Therapies, or some amount is, what's that was? Dream Halls from Stronghold? Yeah. Yeah, so this is off a of turn turn one to rest from Blake, so he gets to see what's up. There's an inspiration, an accumulated knowledge, a mana severance, a meditate, an intuition, and an ancient tomb. Interesting. Takes the intuition. Pedas is in the chat. Hey, Pedas. 
we're uh we're in round five and it's been going great we just ate an entire boat full of sushi um i'd be scared to cast this meditate <laughs> yeah that give, giving him two turns would be a a little bit problematic i think <laughs> It's like I only need one. <laughs> yeah. Meditate is a, a sweet card, though it's never used for good. When Meditate first got printed, there was like, like, it was like an extended with Force of Will, and there was like just a deck called the Meditate deck, and it was just nothing but like counter spells and oh, control so cards. Basically, and just like okay, Brian, it was a Brian Schneider deck, and he was like, yeah, you cast Meditate, and you win. <laughs> so, yeah so just not really breaking it anyway just just yeah using the card advantage i guess the the thing you'd be able to force a will on on your turn if you're tapped tapped out Woo. Woo. <laughs> so we are meditating here yeah he just meditated killed down i mean i can understand like you're, you kind of have to fade, like, assuming that Patrick's able to untap and then win, mm -hmm. like, he basically just needs to fade, like, two draw steps. Yeah, out of play. I mean, but, and if he wasn't, if he doesn't think he's going to be able to go off the next turn, he might as well, right? Like, he likes to another turn anyway. Yeah. So, like, it's, it's not a thing you love doing. But I think it's probably, it, it, it was probably the right point. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Kat's talking about casting Meditate on your turn if you plan to win. Yeah, but I think mana is too much of a constraint when you're yeah. trying to cast Dream Halls a lot of the time. And with a matchup that this is so and fast. We so. know he doesn't have the Dream Halls. He doesn't have a show and, or he doesn't have intuition. Um, we know he doesn't have a Dream Halls. He has a show and tell, but like, he would have to like, hit a Lotus Petal or something probably. Because he had like a City of Traders or something. And a Dream Halls. Did we see a show and tell? I don't know if we did. Not when it was duress. Yeah, when he got duress, he had, he had a show and tell, I think. Didn't he? He had accumulated knowledge. He had... I don't remember saying show and tell, so that, that's the only reason. Why. But... Um, yeah, I thought he took... Well, there's a lot of mana there. I think he's hard casting. Yeah, hard casting it. So, alright, all right, I'm prepared to say that I was wrong. And, uh... I don't like... I, I think he should have, uh... Should this hard guess this. Alright, so this mana severance... Okay, so that what this is gonna do is... Basically get rid of all the decks, or all the lands in, in yeah. Patrick's deck. So that means that anytime he's drawing cards, he's drawing gas. Uh, so he will... Exile all the lands, and now anytime he has a card draw, it's gonna be... Really good with, with Dream Hall. Because he pretty much can't miss. This is, yeah, the true name for this deck is Turbo Speed. That is originally, yeah. What I, mm -hmm. yep. this, put, this was the deck that put Z on the map. So Nobody ever heard of him. That one had Gaia's Blessing. I don't think... Um, but it was basically Dream Halls and nothing made draw spells. The, it, brain Freeze is the way that, that Patrick is going to end up winning. All right, so is there stuff that we think like Blake might be able to interact because the Dream Halls is symmetric? Like, you're able right. to Blake can play any of the various instants, which I think is probably just like an Enlightened Tutor, Dark Ritual. Yeah, I don't know what he's got on his side. So I think uh, it's likely. All right, so we got Inspiration is going to be discarded to cast a Meditate. He says, here, I'm going to use this die. Yeah. These are going to be all the turns that you're never going to take. He has no hand now, though. He did pick up a Meditate, it looks like. Oh, really? He's, so he's playing off. Yeah. He, and yeah, one Lotus Petal is not good, because like we said, the lands are gone. All right, we got Show and Tell being discarded, so now there's another Meditate. Blake says, I would like to take some of these turns, yeah. please. Please. You gotta keep track. <laughs> what if what if he has to pass a turn and Blake can't win? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Well, I mean... What do you think of uh, casting that impulse by a discernary card instead of paying mana for it? Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything he would want to spend his mana on. Yeah, yeah. He probably could just... Like, that's probably the cheapest spell. All right, so going on, what what's going to happen now is Patrick's going to cast a bunch of spells. Yes, and eventually to draw through his deck, basically. Yep. He's going to either get the the actual card Brain Freeze that's in his deck, he has one copy, or he can get um, use one Cunning Wish, and then there is a Brain Freeze in the sideboard. He has a Cunning Wish in his hand, though, right? Uh, I think he... Maybe he, he does. It. There's multiple copies of the Cunning Wish, so... He just drew one. And yeah, and then you don't even need to pass the turn. Um, and some people talk about like guys busting or whatnot. I guess if they have multiple guys busting, which most people do, it becomes a little bit more complicated. You probably have to stifle them. Yeah. But I love this just a race to draw your whole deck. <laughs> yeah. Right, both players just trying to draw every card in their deck the earliest turn they possibly can. It's just high octane magic. <laughs> yes, it is. It's like a shootout. Do you ever play decks like this? No. No? This is not your style? No, I don't like it. I really enjoy it. Like, the Greater Good deck is very fun. Like, I, there's some about... Have you ever drawn 12 cards at a time? It is yeah. a it is a good feeling. It's a genius for yeah. I You know, I like High Tide. So, <laughs> okay. it was... I just... This, this kind of magic doesn't appeal to me. I just... I like the... I like the, the interaction of it. What draws me to pre-modern is, like... Yeah. It's fun. Good fun interactive games. Yeah, I do like the interact. I mean, every now and then, I do like to just, like, bust it out and be like, I'm doing something powerful today. And, well, let me tell you, that's that's what both of these players said. I'm not mad that this exists, though, either. Like, I think it's cool. It's like, really said something that... What did he use to shovel his greater? Probably Reminisce. It's probably Reminisce. Reminisce. No, it it will just win with brain freeze. Something a lot less <laughs> exciting. It's just yeah. brain freeze the opponent. They've cast a million, a bunch of spells this time. Do you turn. think he's playing as if um, Blake ha could have guys busting in his deck? Um, because there's a I know um, Inaki um, wrote a report about this about how like. You have to if if you think they have blessing, you actually have to. Um, well, it's probably not that much harder. Like you just need to have. You have to set up multiple brain freezes, basically. Yeah, which I don't think is actually that hard. All right, this is a storm for seventy-two. Yeah, like a lot. So yeah, or have stifle. There, yeah, there's there's stifle on the sideboard. So yeah, you could get that with cunning wish. This yeah, that was. What turn was that? I guess the maybe, that was how many extra turns did Blake get? Did he he got his extra? Blake turn? got three turns, I think. Okay, right. Well, he's he's got five extra turns. Those don't carry over, do they? I think he gets this. Uh, I don't know. Let's ask Judge. Oh man, one prophetic bolt, that'd be really cool. <laughs> I like it. We're just I guess you can't make mana though. Well the Reminisce doesn't shuffle itself back in, right? You you would need multiple copies of Reminisce. Right. Um which yeah, oh, he does. He two, does. He does. Right. Usually they play. They probably play two. Yeah. This is a good. Day. I like. I like. There's one copy of Morphling in the sideboard, and then three copies of Chill, and then the rest of like stuff that you can cunning wish for. More honest keeper Morphling. Yep. Yep. Just like that might be against the guy's blessing deck. Yeah. 
No, uh, Inaki wrote a whole thing on no, how you beat yeah. the guy's blessing. It's really, cu- it's really cute. You I don't like, know what I don't know when you were bringing this morphling, though. and then you like freeze them in response. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's... And then you like, but the, you have to I th- freeze them once for each guy's blessing. Yes, deck, yes, because the way then you have to, then you opportunity them. Yeah, because have no deck. The way that it works is like the guy's blessing would trigger on one of the copies of brain freeze, and so yeah. You need to have a, a brain freeze for each copy of Guy's Blessing, basically, yeah. Wait, don't you just need two, right? Because you you brain freeze them. Their whole... Oh, wait, no, no, because each of the... Yeah, the it's a, the way that yeah, brain yeah, freeze resolves. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like three cards at a time. Yep. You can only opportunity with Blessing on the stack, though, if they have you know, cards. Yeah. Because it'll reshuffle. Yeah, it's because of the way that brain freeze with the storm triggers. Because it's it's not just like one big spell that mills them for sixty cards. It's little spells, and and so yeah, it would it would trigger and. Okay. Right, starting off, this is this is like game one. We gotta right pay now. attention here, it's like because I, so these can pop off right now. <laughs> it's turn two, and the fundamental turn has been achieved. Yeah. for both decks. <laughs> this is great because we're basically covering um we're, we're basically covering about 10 turns of magic yeah the whole match and uh it's gonna take yeah <laughs> half, 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 yeah, yeah less than we're, some of the times we've had for yeah. like one game we're over 20 and, minutes into the round yeah and we've we've covered about eight turns maybe seven <laughs> I said, yeah, this type of magic is sweet. I wouldn't want it all the time, but it's definitely fun to watch. We've got a sapling horse. Wow. Is this ever a plan that you just like? I guess, what's the maximum amount of damage you can just deal with sapling horse by itself? It's. If you. Oh! Oh my goodness. He is a dreadnought deck. He's going to make 12 power worth of creatures and then sacrifice it. <laughs> I have never seen this. That's awesome. That is awesome. This is just good, clean. I mean, this, this is a slow combo, but this is this is how Garfield intended, right? The best part, he can still cast a greater good next turn and go off. <laughs> <laughs> this is just to keep him. This is just a throw a meat in the cage to get him. <laughs> I don't. I don't think Patrick keep is going to cast for a while. I don't think Patrick's going to cast meditate right now. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> meditate is off the table. <laughs> Has been countered. That was awesome. All right. So Patrick, I mean, he's he's. I get he is. Which oh, there's one chain of vapor. Okay, I was thinking there were a lot more copies of that. I was like, Blake hasn't seen that card. Well, maybe he did. Like when Patrick was discarding cards, but. Yeah. Uh, All right. Well, we have um, a Lotus Petal, so this could open up opportunities for, for Dream Halls after a show and tell. Uh, but it looks like Patrick's passing the turn. Anybody else wanted to see Patrick just win the game there? <laughs> 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 Never surpassed this match. Uh, Blake made a sapling. Sa- he made three. He made he made three saplings and sacked them all. Yeah. Yeah, there were four fading cards on it. Yep. You well, did. <laughs> now, now I can't be the only person that's like cast Phyrexian Dread not the fairway. Yeah, we almost <laughs> saw it twice today, though. <laughs> Academy Rector. Beats. All right, we're casting intuition on the turn. Cunning wish. Cunning wish. This could get could get a chain of vapor if worst comes to worst. Uh, it could get rushing river. Okay, chain of vapor is is what's selected. All right, but now the chain will buy them a lot of time. 
we might it might come down to just like academy rector beats though this the snapperling token can get in for one because it would fade at the turn i don't know what why were all the wait why did the snapperling burst go to the graveyard oh he wanted it oh he wanted he wants it in the graveyard okay um oh because he has a. Uh... He could have I replenish. What, I see what's happening here. I'm like, what happened? So he he's gonna sack it. I think uh, this is my guess. He's going to sack the rector. Or uh, first he's got threatened lethal. Like, okay. Do you do you want do you want, do you want to chain it back? Nah. <laughs> he could have. Well, he could have sacked his uh his rector there. It's well. It's it sacrifices a land, not a creature or a permanent. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So he is using the tower to sack the. So do you just get pandemonium? He, he get greater... Oh, and, and, and the yeah. you're not in his that, hand. That's the what I thought. He was he was getting a pandemonium. Yeah. And if he has replenish, he can just kill him. No, he has a dreadnought in his hand. It got chain of vapor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a. Is that Arcane Denial? What is it? I think it's Arcane. I think Arc it's Arcane Denial. I don't know, though. I think that's Arcane Denial. I don't know that one. I believe that's Arcane Denial. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's still a game. It's still a game. This is great. I thought it was going to replenish a sapling burst into play. Yeah. Well, given that it died, like that, that seemed like, but maybe he, I, he might also have that in his hand, but he just said, I'm going to win now. And he was going for the kill in a different way. Yeah. And wasn't expecting the, uh, counter spell. I don't like, I'm trying to think if, I don't know if there's anything Blake could have done differently if he was expecting a counter spell. Uh, is there an enchantment that somehow you could get like to interact with a hand? Then you wouldn't have the pandemonium. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see if we'll see if Patrick's able to uh, climb back after dealing with some dreadnought. Oh, no lands in the deck. All right, Blake is. I think he passed the turn. Like casting an Alain tutor. Okay. You just get a dreadnought here. For sapling burst. I think there's usually so one sapling burst. Yeah. Have a... Enough mana. And if this dreadnought, I'll put this on top. Oh, if he had brain freeze there, that would have been sweet. Yeah. <laughs> he only has one mana. Oh, okay. Here's a dreadnought. I'll deal 12 to you. And that's the game. That's it. Fighting Tutor for the win. Yep. All right. So, the, what a wild game. The, the Greater Good deck was the one that squeezed through. And yeah. look, Patrick is showing it. Oh, I had a, a Dream Halls next turn that I would have been able to cast and probably go off. Um, I don't think he even anything in his hand, though. Oh, maybe. Maybe um, he needed a card draw spell. Blake, what, oh, Blake just finding some really awesome lines in that game. It yeah. was like so, so awesome. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna look in the crowd to see if there's a match that we can scoot over because we do have a good amount of time left. Yeah, and no sushi. Yeah. So. <laughs> we'll do, Gerard. We'll do. I think I left my phone out there. It's it's Misty Mountain T W O at gmail dot com. I'll send it to you though. It, yeah, I'll just do the paper. <laughs> that, that fake BK. 
Where's that Trenton? <laughs> oh, hey, it's, it's that's Kristen. Also, hello, my dear. <laughs> I was Welcome bouncing around. Stream. I didn't see any matches that looked like they were like no one was shuffling up that we could just move, bump over to the. You, you just missed some magic, like you probably. We never thought possible. <laughs> <laughs> Open up her eyes. But yeah, just looking at the tables there, Sam Black is playing against Will. So that's Oath against Mono Blue Stifle Knot. And then Lester was playing against Dylan. So Lester was on the Mono Blue Stifle Knot as well. He's playing against Dylan, which was on um, Bullings Breakfast. Yeah. Uh, so That's what I wanted to put in the booth. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, can but, you? I mean, can I can't, but I can't argue. That match was so good. <laughs> So I'll hang out a little bit. I'll bounce back and forth and see if we can, if there is a match that is yeah. going to three that we can seven, slide them over. Seven Caleb, both still in contention. Um, okay. Yeah, Caleb was still playing. Lester's in contention. Dylan, um, my friend who brought Briar Patch to us as the uh, the charity, he's still he's still in it. He's playing Feb. Um, so lots of and Will Hurst was also playing for. Um, well, and that was the next one too. Yeah. I mean, oh. Blake, 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 Blake in yeah. great, great shape. And I mean, uh, uh, there might be a chance that Patrick know. could squeak in. I don't know. You, yeah. I mean, but, it's it's a little. I I kind of know everybody here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even though there's 36 players, I feel like I know almost everybody. <laughs> Should we go back to here? Do you want to be on camera? Yeah. All right. Every, well, let's my go. my wife's watching, so you know. Keep it PG. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi. Hope, hope you're enjoying hanging out with us today. Hope you're enjoying. I can figure out how much money we, we uh, run in. If you want to <laughs> count us up, I can I can just talk to Chad if you, yeah. you got to step I'm, away I'm gonna, or whatnot. I'm going to count tickets. Okay. <laughs> That's riveting, I know. But I think we did pretty well overall. Good, good. That'll... We just count tickets. Everybody got a free ticket with entry. So that's okay. Thirty six people we have, right? Mm, or was it, it thirty seven? It was. I think thirty eight is when I was looking at the standings that were scrolling. I think there were thirty eight people. No Spanish nationals, but pretty good. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. It's, it's been pretty impressive that the tournaments that they've had over in Europe of how well attended that they've had a lot of support and a lot of yeah. players going out to play in those those championships. So that was really cool. It's been a great day, great tournament. Um, I've, I've loved all the matches we've watched. Yeah, and the atmosphere of everyone's attitude is just pretty fun, like, that mm -hmm. they all are excited about pre-modern, so. What kind, of, what kind of decks do people want to see? Yeah, let's know, chat. Are there things that you're you're looking to see? I mean, I guess I would put Full English Breakfast kind of higher on my list. If we're just talking about decks, um, is there anything that we really haven't seen? I wouldn't mind seeing, like, a deck like Goblins on again. But you know what didn't seem to show up this time? Mono red. Yeah, I, I don't. I there were a few people I... that were talking about it. Is, it, it looks, this, is this an unhappy Lester? All right, Lester. I got that camera. Yeah, we're we're hanging out. I figured out what I needed to do. I fairly lost because I didn't know that shapeshifter copied into the into the battlefield. Uh, okay, so the palancron. Yeah. yeah, like I had the stifle in hand, but like when you read the card, it doesn't say a copy has to be in play like yeah it's well it's it's the it acts as it's like a clone creature it's like clone yeah. clone triggers enters the battlefield triggers as well as it enters um so i would have fucking talked yeah i had to say for a but like i just don't it because i'm like oh yeah like here all right Lesser is upset. He's yeah, upset. I, All right, uh, I'm gonna go make another pass to see if there's someone that's like sideboarding out that we could shift over because we still have about 15 minutes I think left in the round, so we'll see. I've, you know, I've made a mistake or two in my time in Magic Magic. All right. Uh, all right. I just like like that card doesn't. Um. 
I don't know. Might as well play it. Like to still be counting tickets. You watch me count tickets. We're still on. I think we're still on. Yeah, so yeah, great. Um great event. Really happy with how everything's been going. It's uh yeah, we're, we're gonna one more Swiss round after this. Um, we should have like a pretty a close top eight picture after this round, and uh, probably bringing a good win and in. Yeah, I, I don't know if we'll get another match on camera in this round. Um, there's uh, Will and Sam are in their third game, and then there was Nathan is playing Parfait Oath, and he's up against Stasis, and they look like they're in a, a battle uh, but i think most of the matches are finishing up but i guess i was just going to go through some of these deck lists and maybe we just talk yeah, about what people are playing out, um... so we saw the the dream halls deck uh here is sam's uh counter parfait yep uh this looks like feb that's still in okay, deck. Dylan's deck okay yeah. here, here, was so there was a, there was a sly deck here okay we got one for the here's a Goblin list. This was with green that had naturalized in the main. Oh, that's my okay. goblin deck. Okay. Like physical cards or? Yeah, okay. that one. Are that's Will Brinkman. Okay. So here we've got uh, mono blue stifle knot. This is a stasis listed as bad stasis. Oh, that was what that was what Charles had. Um, here's oath and burn. So it has oath the druids. And then the creatures, oh, it's blood fire class. So this, this is like the, oh, with Pyrocytic Killer. So this is one that, like, Flint had played, I think. Um, uh, yeah. That, okay. um, well, it's different. That, I, we, we made that deck yesterday. <laughs> it's more burn spells. It's less, uh, control-y. It's, this one's just, like, straight, try to straight burn. Uh, you. I guess there's flame rifts, but I mean, yeah. I guess there's no, like, burning wish, I guess. Uh, but most of the cards seem pretty similar is what I was, yeah. Okay. Uh, so. Yeah, that's. Some more concepts. Yeah. Ooh, this is what we got here. What is that? Um, drifting gin. Holy moly! There is something going on here. <laughs> There's some blue cards. Yeah, this is all over the place. Some wild stuff. Blue stuff is what, and that is. It's a brew. Yeah. Uh, here's a chance encounter deck with, but also had lightning angel. So it's, it just, oh, it's, it's, it's... like star singled slaughter, oh. but like. You take out all the controlling elements, the mid-range elements, and you just throw in Chance Encounter yeah. and Frenetic Afrit. I dig it. All right. That's cool. Uh, here is... What are they doing? I don't know. This is... Elves? No, this is Opposition. Oh. Survival Opposition. Survival Opposition. Yeah. Uh... Sweet. Always love that. Here's another stasis deck. Blue Green Madness. The looks like no survival, just the traditional oh, one one copy of Gush. Not enough for your liking. Oath Prison, okay. Oath Prison. So that's Ricky Thorson. Because that, so he was he played stasis at the first one, right? That got oh, second. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like he's shifted from one prison deck to another. So he's playing the Oath Prison deck, not like a Parfait one, but that's ones with Sphere of Resistance and mm -hmm. um, there's a, there's a Pit True. Rack Pit Rack deck. Uh, this looks like the Rock. The Rock. I can get behind that. Love the Rock. Here's Black Parfait. Uh, so that's what Nathan's playing, and so that's looks pretty similar to what you played in the PSS, I think. Me? No. Yeah. But if, I mean, if he's calling it black or fey, I guess it's not. Like, it's, no, no, no. It's it's just black in that it's dress. It's, oh, okay. It's more like uh, Riche's version. Well, all right. You tried to call that deck black parfait. And so, <laughs> it's because that might get it. Yeah. Here's a goblin's list. Another goblin's list. The deck designer is Flint Espel listed. So probably the one that he played at uh, West Coast Championship. Another goblin's. There are a lot more goblins than I thought. Um, Elves, Oath Parfait, 
Okay. Uh, blue white. This was Stancil. Uh, white black Astro Slide Reanimator. This is a Slivers deck. So there were Slivers, uh, plated Sliver, Muscle Sliver. So it looks like the blue white green was the base. Some shared triumphs. Slivers? And, yep. Yep. Slivers. Here's blue white tide. So mark your vote. But it looked like it was based off his list. Another rock list. Uh, white red quake. So this kind of looks like the. It's like a white weenie, white red weenie deck. Yeah. But the all the all the creatures are either flying or prote protection from red. It's uh yeah Dave Schreiner, old friend from Milwaukee. Another parfait oath. Yep. Uh, recurring survival. That's fun. Green red madness. So that was Caleb's. Black white pile. That was that guy Ale from Lucas. Here's a mono blue dreadnought. Red deck wins. Greater good. Mono blue stifle knot. Elves. And a mono red goblins, which is credited to Jared Doucette. So uh, a good mix. I guess there are a lot more goblins than I, I guess that I had seen. Yeah. You want to sit down at all? And... Yeah. No. Nope. Right. All right, um, we got about 10 minutes left in the round. Are we counting out tickets and I'm trying to knock my piles over? Uh, yeah. I think, I, I think the, the deck list people are excited for deck list. Yeah, there are a good amount of, of tickets in there. So, uh, is there stuff you want to talk about or should we head yeah. to a break? <laughs> nah, nah, but, um, yeah, I'm happy to talk about anything they want, but, um, I don't know, it was sweet. Uh, that last match was definitely my favorite so far. Yeah, that, that was really fun. They were saying that they want the the wild decks. Um, we'll see if we can get if there's anyone with a, a unique deck on a win and end, we'll, we'll probably put them on. But like otherwise, we might just get something of of a variety because I think probably I'm guessing that top eight might be some of the things that we've seen earlier today. So we could go greater good again. <laughs> yeah, I mean. And it, I mean, it, it, it might be a really yeah. different matchup because if the the deck that it yeah. plays has more interaction, then it's it's not just an arms race. I Black, think, the black white slide list. I don't know. I, some people might have dropped. I'm not sure, but I think Ian yeah. DeGraff drew with the elves player last round in the top eight, so I think they're both locked in. All right, we're gonna take a break. If if you guys want to like, I got the total message. What you're we're kind of uh, looking at. Oh, do you want to announce it or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, hundred thirty-one tickets. So pretty good. Yeah, yeah. like we sold almost a hundred. Okay. Besides that, yes. So some some good money that's going to our Briar Patch, the charity that we're we're doing this for. So that's cool. A lot of support. It seemed like people people were pretty excited about the the um, the raffle stuff, especially with, I think that sweater was <laughs> quietly. The sweater that was crazy. Was uh, really fun that, <laughs> to see everyone's reaction to that. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah, so we'll take a little break. We'll take a break and we'll get things set up for our last round of Swiss. Um, so thanks everyone, but we will be back in a little bit. <laughs> 